This is glucose, a simple sugar, but also looks quite confusing. For the sake of saving space, I will be using this. The glucose is in the intestine and then diffuses through the holes in the villi, into the capillaries, and then into the vein. Through that vein, it goes to the heart, in which it enters through the vena cava. It then moves through the right atrium and into the right ventricle. After that, the pulmonary artery. Through that, it goes to the lungs where the oxygen is picked up through the one cell thick walls of the capillaries through the pulmonary vein back into the heart in which it goes to the left atrium and then the left ventricle and next the, the aorta where it gets pumped out to the body when it is in the arteries it branches off into a capillary in which it goes into a cell now all the hard work pays off as the oxygen and glucose chemically react to cellular respiration in the mitochondria the powerhouse of the cell as this happens the, and the glucose breaks apart the huge amount of energy holding it together gets released <laughs> gets used by the other parts of the cell. The leftovers are the CO2 and the H2O. As they move back through the capillaries and into a vein, the H2O gets more and more diluted. By the time they reach the heart, it's gone. In the heart, the same thing happened the first time. The CO2 moves through the left atrium and ventricle, then the pulmonary artery, and goes to the lungs. When in the lungs, instead of going past through the capillaries and picking up oxygen, it instead goes through the capillaries and into the alveoli, in which it goes up to the tree structure and gets breathed out. Bang! <sighs>